guys, what's up? It's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt in my last video. Or maybe it might be my video next. But I am pre-filming right now because I have time on a Saturday. <laughs> so today we're actually going to be talking about Disney secrets. And a lot of videos that I see on YouTube are Disney secrets and I know all about them. Like half of them, I literally already know. Like, yes, Disney has cats walking around the park to, to eat all of the rats and the mice and stuff like we all know that kind of stuff so i really researched and tried to dig out stuff that you may not know of course there may be things on this list that you already do know so please don't be mad at me if you hear a repeat in here but i wanted to give some of my disney knowledge to you guys so let's begin Okay, so the first thing on my list is actually just a pretty much basic one, but in the Peter Pan ride in Fantasyland, in Disneyland, there are blocks. As soon as you begin the ride, you are in the kids' room and there are some blocks sitting there. Sometimes they say different things. So sometimes they will say Walt Disney, sometimes they will spell out Peter Pan, sometimes they'll just spell out Disney. Every single time they do refurbishments on the ride, they usually switch them up, so definitely look for that. Yeah, it may be a little basic, but I like to look for things like that. So next on my list is something that I actually learned when I was a little kid. I didn't learn this in any YouTube video. I actually knew this because my parents pointed it out to me on the Winnie the Pooh ride. So you may not know, but before the Winnie the Pooh ride was the Winnie the Pooh ride, it was actually the Country Bear Jamboree. And this was like a little show where a bunch of animals would like sing country songs basically. So in the Country Bear Jamboree, there were animal heads on the wall. A deer, a moose, and a buffalo. They were named Max, Buff, and Melvin. And so when they switched the Country Bear Jamboree over to Winnie the Pooh, they actually kept the heads and put them in, like, in a little hidden spot in the Winnie the Pooh ride. So right after the part with the heffalumps, you go into this other room. And as soon as you enter that room, if you turn around on the wall, you can see all three of the heads. And I always, always, always look for them. Every time I go on the ride now, I have to look for them because my parents showed me that when I was a little kid. And yeah, that's probably one that has been in a lot of YouTube videos, but I did not learn that one in a YouTube video. My parents actually just showed me that. So it's like one of my favorite secrets. So this next one is actually another one that my parents showed me, and this is in the Haunted Mansion. So during the scene where they are in the dining room and all the ghosts are dancing on the floor, there is actually a piece of glass behind the railing so that people can't like throw stuff into the scene. And before Disneyland was very regulated and before security tightened up, someone actually snuck in a BB gun, I believe it was, and they shot that glass. And so there was like a big hole in the glass and Disney didn't want to replace the whole thing. So they actually just took like a plastic spider and put it in front of the hole. So if you look very closely, you can actually see the spider. Now, right in the same area, there is actually another secret. If you look behind you in that same room, there is a wheelchair sitting behind you, folded up. Now, I don't know if this is 100% true or this is just a rumor, but I read online that that wheelchair actually belonged to a little boy who was obsessed with the Haunted Mansion and unfortunately he passed away from a terminal illness and so Disneyland wanted to honor him so they put his wheelchair inside his favorite part of the ride. I think that that's a really cool thing because I have seen that the past couple times that I have gone there so I feel like it may be true because it, has, it hasn't moved at all and I just think that that's a really really cool thing that Disneyland did for that little boy. Okay this next one is probably one that you have seen in another YouTube video but I thought I'd throw it in because I just recently learned this and I thought it was a pretty cool thing. So when Disney first opened, we obviously know that they had tickets for each ride. So there were ticket booths all throughout Disneyland and they actually still have those ticket booths. They just changed them into random little structures. So in Fantasyland, for example, next to the Storybook Canal ride, there is a little tiny lighthouse and that one was actually one of the ticket booths. And I just recently learned that. So my last Disneyland trip, I actually like made the time to go over to that and look at it and it's pretty cool. You can definitely imagine it being a ticket booth if you see it in person. But there is various ones all around. I believe one of them is a mushroom next to Alice in Wonderland's ride as well. So this one is pretty much like an obvious one, but I thought it was really cool because I didn't learn it until just recently, surprisingly, even though I know so much about Disney. 
I just learned that the Tiki Room was actually originally built by Walt Disney to be a restaurant. It was kind of gonna be like a rainforest cafe kind of thing where there's like animatronic animals, but instead Walt Disney actually turned it into an attraction. So I actually just learned this from one of the cast members inside the Tiki Room and I thought that that was really cool because I could totally imagine it as a restaurant and it totally looks like a restaurant on the outside. Like I can totally imagine it, a restaurant. So walking down Main Street, there is a bunch of windows all around you and they're different like dentist's office and doctor's offices and blah, 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 like made to look like you're walking downtown somewhere. And believe it or not, the names on the windows are actually the names of people who helped build Disneyland. I thought that was a really cool like contribution that Walt Disney did for the people that helped build it. This next one is actually in the Indiana Jones ride. And this is during the part where you're looking at the projector in that little, projector room where the guy's talking about putting on your seat belts and blah 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 so if you actually look behind you like right behind the projector there is actually an eeyore parking lot sign when the parking lots used to have like characters a while back and i don't know what the reason was for keeping this but they just keep it back there now and it's a part of like the old parking lot before California Adventure was there. It's kind of hard to see, so you may have to ask a cast member to shine their flashlight back there to see it. So as soon as you walk inside the park, to the right, there are some restrooms back there. And if you walk back there, it's kind of like a little alley kind of. If you walk back there, there's a brick wall. And on that brick wall, you can notice that some bricks are flat and some bricks are bumpy. And this is because that is the wall that Walt Disney used to test which bricks he wanted to use for certain things. So certain parts of the park have the smooth bricks and certain parts of the park have the bumpy bricks. I thought that was really interesting. I didn't know that, but I did notice it one day. I was standing by the bathrooms and I was like, why does it look like that? It's really random. But now I know why. And so this last one is completely random but I thought it was really cool and I like to like listen for things while I'm in Disneyland so if you go to Tarzan Treehouse which is right next to the Indiana Jones ride they play this Swiss Apoka song and I always thought it was so random and weird because it doesn't fit with Tarzan it doesn't fit with Indiana Jones but this is because the treehouse actually used to be the Swiss Family Robinson treehouse and so this Swiss Apoka song was from the Swiss Family Robinson. So they actually just kept it for some reason and didn't change it into like a Tarzan song. But yeah, it's very interesting. So next time you go to Disneyland, definitely check out those little hidden secrets. And hopefully this video was not too repetitive for you. I know I get irritated when I watch Disneyland secret videos and like none of them are secrets to me. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Disney video and I hope you'll watch more. Bye guys. Beat, beat, love, a, 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 a